You know, one of the best things is to actually buy something that somebody made, that actually somebody's hands are on it. You know, you can feel when somebody did some, you know, did a painting by hand or did a sculpture by hand. You can actually, it actually emanates the artist's not so much intention, because that's getting a little touchy-feely, but you can really see and feel when somebody's hand is on something and there's nothing like having uh, you know, a room or a house. Not necessarily full of that, because everybody can't do that, but you know, you can be really smart about, you know, placing one single painting, you know, the typical thing is over, you know, over your mantle, you know, or, you know, no, over your sofa also, nothing's wrong with that, as like the, one of the main focal points for your walls, besides all the furniture and, you know, stereo equipment that you own. I think the most practical steps you could take would be just get out there and sort of ease into reading about art, you know, reading about art in the art section of the paper, magazines, actually going to museums and galleries if that's not in your normal day, you know, not so much day to day, but more like a weekend driven thing, you know, I would pretty much hit the Art Institute or, you know, whatever your, you know, local museum is and, you know, get out there and then uh, also uh, hit galleries would be the next choice, uh, you know, or, you know, not so much a street art fair, that's like a very specific thing and you really want to hit something that is, you know, you know got, got a little scholarship behind it. When buying a piece of art, you know, you definitely want to, you want to make sure you're, you're getting what you pay for, basically. So, you know, artwork could be $100 or it could, could be $1,000 or it could be $10,000. I mean, those are pretty easy increments to think of. You know, a $100 piece might be something that you bought, like at a street fair, real casually, you know, or or some sort of quick sketches out of somebody's studio or something like that. Getting into the, the you know, five or ten thousand dollar price point, that's actually, you know, you really want somebody that is either, uh, you know, really, you know, their career is taken off right from the get-go, which is very rare, um, you know, right out of school or something like that. Uh, but usually if something's reached that $10,000 price point, there's usually a, you know, a strong resume behind that. And, you, and that's basically what you can do. You can ask the artist for their resume and bio and find out where they went to school and if they've got other galleries besides the gallery that you're in, you know, that kind of thing. And, You know, there's absolutely nothing wrong with buying from an artist. Um, and the, probably the best situation to do that is some kind of studio walk, just as you get a good read on everything. Uh, if you've got like a handful of artists to compare it to, if you've not really gone out and, and, and done, too, done too much searching for art. A gallery usually has, has like a, uh, an aesthetic that they're trying to like bring the artist into, whereas an artist is like usually they only have, uh, they, I mean they might have multiple bodies of work over a period of years or something like that, but usually that's you know not not so much a one trick pony by any means, because uh, uh, you know everybody develops sort of a signature style at some point or another or a signature aesthetic for the gallery. And uh, uh, there, might, there might just be like a less choice when you buy from an artist studio.